He is known for being a Russian writer who made significant contributions to literature. Recognized for his bravery and service during the Great Patriotic War, he served as a special correspondent and joined the partisans as a machine gunner. His name is Arkady Gaidar. In the annals of literary history, one name stands out as a symbol of courage and resilience, Arkady Gaidar, a Russian writer whose life was as adventurous as his stories. Born into a family of teachers in the Russian Empire, Gaidar showed his revolutionary spirit at a young age. As a 13-year-old Bolshevik follower, he fearlessly distributed leaflets and patrolled the streets. It was during one of these missions that he received his first wound, a stab in the chest. Gaidar's dedication to the cause led him to join the Communist Party and work as a correspondent for a local newspaper. But his true calling came when he enlisted in the Red Army, lying about his age to fight for what he believed in. As a company commander, he fought on the Ukrainian and Caucasian fronts, facing off against counter-revolutionary forces. Despite being injured and shell-shocked, Gaidar's determination never wavered. After participating in the suppression of anti-communist uprisings, Gaidar's military career came to an end when he retired due to a contusion. However, destiny had more in store for him. When World War II broke out, Gaidar was sent to the front as a special correspondent, documenting the war for the newspaper Komsomolskia Pravda. But fate took a tragic turn when he and his fellow soldiers were surrounded by German troops. Undeterred, Gaidar joined the partisans and fought as a machine gunner. Sadly, on October 26, 1941, Gaidar lost his life in combat near the village of Lupliava, and he was laid to rest in the town of Kanev. In the small town of Lgov, Russia, a young boy named Arkady was born into a family of teachers. With noble lineage tracing back to Mikhail Lermontov, Arkady had a promising future ahead. In 1912, the family relocated to Arzamas, where Arkady began attending a local secondary school. But it was the turbulent year of 1917 that would shape his destiny. At just 13 years old, Arkady embraced the ideals of the Bolshevik movement and actively participated in spreading their message. He distributed leaflets and patrolled the streets, fiercely devoted to the cause. It was during one of these missions that he suffered his first injury, a stab in the chest. In 1918, Arkady applied to become a member of the Communist Party and began working as a correspondent for the local newspaper, Malat. His dedication to the party was unwavering, and in December of that year, he volunteered for the Red Army, lying about his age. By January 1919, Arkady found himself on the front lines as an adjutant to a special unit commander, fighting against what the Soviet biographies referred to as, Kalak Gangs. Having completed the 7th Moscow Red Commander's courses, Arkady was assigned as a company commander on the Ukrainian front. However, in December 1919, he was injured and shell-shocked, leading to his demobilization. But his spirit could not be dampened, and in March 1920, he rejoined the Red Army, this time as a company commander in the Caucasian Front's 9th Army, 37th Kuban Division. He fought bravely in operations against Generals Gaiman and Zidikov. Throughout 1921, Arkady played a vital role in suppressing anti-communist uprisings, including the Antonov Shkina. The following year, he was stationed on the Mongolian border but was soon hospitalized due to traumatic neuroses. His military career came to an end in 1924, as he retired with a contusion. As the Great Patriotic War erupted, Arkady was sent to the front lines as a special correspondent for the newspaper Komsomolskia Pravda. In the autumn of 1941, he found himself surrounded by German troops. Undeterred, Arkady joined the partisans and became a skilled machine gunner. It was on October 26 that he tragically lost his life in combat near the village of Lupliava. He was laid to rest in the town of Kanev. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.